canyons like this one just outside of Golden, Colorado, give visitors a good chance ah, to get out and enjoy some of the geology that the Front Range has to offer. In a canyon like this, with a stream cutting down through a lot of these Precambrian age rocks, a lot of igneous and metamorphic rocks that over the years have been massively deformed because of the intense pressures associated with uplifting the Rocky Mountains. So as you come through here, you can look at some of the boulders and see some of these granite veins that have been reminiscent of magmas that have pushed up into older Precambrian age rocks. In some places, you'll see that these granite stringers are relatively undisturbed, meaning they're probably a little bit younger. But in other cases, you can see that they're very deformed. And these stringers of igneous rock within this metamorphic rock tell us that after that rock was in place, some sort of pressure event occurred on the rock and deformed it. So we can piece together the framework of things that we see in the rocks to tell a little bit about how the rocks that made up this valley were formed. Many of the metamorphic rocks that you find in this valley fall in the category we call gneisses. Gneisses are coarse grained, very deformed rocks that form under the, the highest heats and pressures that are formed during that mountain building process. And this is an example of a nice, nice right here. By looking at the orientation of these cracks, we can learn different things about the rocks, and we can look and see how deformed that particular bed is and tell that it's all squished up like an accordion. And basically what that tells us is that this rock has been under intense pressure and that entire rock has been squeezed in this direction. And what we get is a massively deformed rock that is completely different from what it was in the beginning. Most likely a rock like this was a rock akin to a granite or maybe a diorite, a coarse grained igneous rock that formed from hot molten magma. And over time as that magma cooled it formed a rock and then later as the Rocky Mountains were formed and as those rocks were buried to great depth, that rock was compacted and squeezed and mutated and deformed into the gneiss that it is today. But some of the volcanic rocks that you find that are squeezed up into these older rocks are actually pretty young relative to the original rock. Sometimes you find little strands of relatively young magma that's creeped up into cracks in the rock and has cooled. It's in many of those newer, younger igneous rocks and the granites that come in with many minerals and many different elements that bring in some of the heavy metals that some of the old prospectors used to look for. Especially that one that we all like and look for when we come down to the rivers here in Colorado, gold. 